Verendry Electric Cooperative members have spent three quarters of a century building a heritage in our area. Spokesperson Tom Rafferty has spent two years compiling the company's history into a book, a story he says he's enjoyed telling. On Sunday, we turned 75 years old. It's another year in the books, and a book... I went through thousands of photos... ...to celebrate the history of Verendry Electric Cooperative. The reason cooperatives were formed is because the investor-owned utilities would not serve the rural areas. So what happened is farmers literally started their own utility companies or cooperatives. The Secretary of State signed Verendry Electric into being on January 26th. 1939. They literally went door to door knocking on doors and they said We're, we want to start a cooperative. Do you want electricity? If you do give us five dollars and you'll become a member. Five dollars in 1939 is roughly equivalent to eighty five dollars today. A time when postage was three cents and a loaf of bread eight cents. There's members that remember seeing holes dug by hand with shovels for some of the first power poles. And those same members today can use our high technology. They can check their usage on their cell phone. And what's in a name? A lot of people don't know why we're called Verendry Electric. It's a French name. Why do we have a French name in pretty much Norwegian territory? Verendry Electric was named for a town northeast of Velva. We started in this tiny little abandoned bank building. And today we grew into, um, we have over 15,000 meters we serve. Verendry, North Dakota is now home to maybe two people and this granite landmark. The post office closed in 1965, but back in 1939, the town was at its population height of 100 people. Co-ops are a real grassroots type of organization. We are here because people needed to help themselves. Nobody else would do it. While Verendry has turned the page with technology. We still believe in the same principles, cooperation, member control, local control, uh, working in the communities. So we feel that's important to, to keep that alive. The company has a solid foundation for the history books. In mine at Jennifer Clean, KX News.